Good morning. Good morning. Had a bit of a late start today. It is already in the afternoon. <laughs> it's like, it's almost one. We're just making some lunch and we're gonna head out, walk into Otter and check out the site. It's really nice outside. It's actually not raining. Um, it's gonna be raining tomorrow, but we've just had a bit of a lazy morning. So we've had some busy days leading up to our trip. So it was nice to have a bit of a relaxing morning, but we're gonna be out there enjoying it very soon. But this is our view from our Airbnb. I know last night you couldn't really see yeah. what the house looked like. But Every single window you seem to look at just seems to be an awesome view of the mountains. I still don't know why the lights aren't working 100% and that fuse box isn't great. But Kat's cooking up some toasties for lunch. It doesn't sound like it's going to plan. Not too great. That smells burnt. Shut up. <laughs> so it's a prime location and a pretty decent Airbnb. Like I said last night, it's very old. It does need some renovations, but if you just need someone to stay while you're out here, I would recommend it. Super basic. Super basic. But cheap, like real cheap. Mm. It's, it's got what we need to get out there. We have emailed um, the guys we're doing the hikes with tomorrow. I think they're called Trolltunga Hikes. Trolltunga Adventures. Trolltunga Adventures, because um, it is going to be pouring rain tomorrow. <laughs> um, we don't probably have enough waterproof stuff, so they mentioned we could go into Otto and hire some waterproof jackets and pants depending on what we need but the weather is really looking bad it's going to be uh, pissing down rain both days they've got a guitar five k walk wow a bit longer a bit longer <laughs> Ah yeah, so that's where we're staying. Um, but yeah, we're up there on the hill. I think Prime it's location. There. Prime location. Right, let's do this. That. Hopefully we can actually walk into town. Cat's assumptions. Yeah. Probably get halfway and then there'll be no path. Because there's two tunnels you have to go through. Um, but obviously they're just for cars. Let's so find out. So this is where we're going to hike to tomorrow in the rain. <laughs> Wish it was nice blue skies, but it's not going to show up for us, is it? <laughs> so last night we were in Oda and we had to get to Tissadel, I think it says. Um, so that one bus came in through to here. We got the bus coming in down this road and then we got off here um, thinking we had to get a connecting bus, but the bus we were on actually turned around and went back down this way. So. Yeah. You live and you learn. So the only way to Otter is through this tunnel, right next to the cars. So this will be interesting. We couldn't find a way through, so we asked the guy at the uh, grocery store and he said that this was the right way, so... Here we go. Wish us luck. It feels like we're in those caves in um, Slovenia, in Croatia again. Slovenia. It was Slovenia, was it? Yeah. See the end of the tunnel. Uh, soak up the weather before yeah. tomorrow. The one sunny day we're gonna have in the nine days we're here in the world. I guess I should tell you why we're being so um, stingy with our <laughs> money. <laughs> um, we're obviously away for two months and we've got a budget we're trying to stick to. So that is 50 pounds for um, travel and accommodation over the each day. 
and 50 pounds for food and I think so it's 100, 100 pound a day each um, for the budget. So, which in total is six grand. Yeah. That, that's pounds. Six thousand. Six thousand pounds each. So it's in pounds because obviously we've been in England earning pounds. Um, so we're going to be basing everything off pounds. So fifty pounds each a day um, we have left because most of our accommodation and most of our um, flights are all booked, aren't they? Yeah. Um, so yeah, the the remaining fifty pounds per day is for the little bits of travel here and there, like buses and stuff that we can't account for previously, and um, whatever food we want left to eat. Yeah. So yeah, so so far half our budget has gone towards accommodation and flights, and the rest of it is not spending money day to day. Um, so it was, it's been challenging planning this trip. Been planning it for probably the most part, maybe the last eight months. Um, and trying to figure out the, the route of which way we're going to go, where we're going to do it and all that has been really challenging but um, we've done it so let's see if it works out, hopefully. <laughs> yeah, so yeah follow, us, follow along with us and um, hopefully you can see if we can stick to our budget every day. The plan is to hopefully not spend the budget every day so then we've got more money to put towards say um, activities and stuff along the way that we might not have thought of at the time. So that was the second tunnel, but we were able to walk, we were able to walk around that one, so now we can actually see Otter. It's not too far away at all. That's a pretty easy walk, really. Okay, so now we're confused of where to go. The sign did say we walk all this way. Hopefully we can actually walk in this town. Not very safe at all, so I don't know whether there is a different way around or not, but there's nowhere to really be walking. Just start to walk and feel hope. Okay. Me too. But you told me it'd be fine, so. Okay, let's do it. made it. Up into that point I would advise walking but from that point yeah I would say there's definitely no point walking that. <laughs> this is what makes me think that we're gonna be a little underprepared for tomorrow. It says we should have all the wind and waterproof pants which we do not have. We were able to hire waterproof uh, pants so it's like ten pound each um, per day, uh, which is still cheaper than not buying them and then throwing away. Obviously, we don't need them again. And they're really good quality ones. Really nice ones. So we are gonna have wet feet, but it's if we were to hire boots, like they're broken into someone else, and I reckon we'd have pretty painful feet. So we're just gonna do runners and plastic bags. Yeah, <laughs> it is what it is. Uh, we'll be fine. We'll make it work. Come on, what? Play. Sure you want to lose? Yeah. Hmm? Sure. Okay, so we're back in Tessadel. Is that how you pronounce it? I think so. The camera went flat, but we ended up getting the bus back to the house. And then had a bit of a nap, if I'm honest. <laughs> so tomorrow we're going to get picked up um, just up the road and get driven out to the um, the car park and where the hike starts, the Troll Tundra hike. Who's picking us up? The guides for our tour. Yeah. So. Um, we chose to go through Troll Tundra Adventures because the reviews online were amazing. I think every single review was Good. a positive review and the group, the tour sizes are really small. So I think that there might only be up to 10 of us, if that. Uh, Just really good feedback online. It did cost us a fair bit. It's cost us 
um, 330 pounds each. And then we also hired backpacks because our backpacks we've got for our trip, they're good for that, but they're not great for hiking. And we didn't want to get our bags and all that stuff wet. So yeah, we're, we're going to be doing it, starting our hike tomorrow at 11.30, I think. So the hike is, from where we're starting, it'll be, I think it's 10 k's there. And then we're going to stay overnight and we're supposed to be seeing the sunset, but if it rains, we probably won't be seeing too much. Yeah. <laughs> and then we'll hike back down on the Thursday um, before we catch the bus back to Bergen, which is hopefully the plan if everything runs smoothly. Yeah, we wanted to do the hike, but we didn't have the equipment. If we were doing it, we would want to have stayed up overnight. We wouldn't have had the equipment and to hire it, I'm sure it would have cost just as much. So um, we looked online to do some tours and this one, yeah, this one came up highly recommended. Yeah, so, exactly. Uh, as, as I think I feel a bit more safer hiking with uh, a tour guide and stuff like that. Yeah, and they're gonna, like, we get up there and the tents are already set up and they've got food and everything for us. I mean, it sounds a little bit, like, luxurious, to be honest, and not really, like... Let's see how luxurious it is in the rain. It's and we're meant to be having reindeer stew yeah. for dinner, so that'll be another experience as well. Yeah. yeah, we're just gonna head home now, have some dinner, get some rest, ready for tomorrow. I think she missed the walk, mate. Uh, oh, we did. Just get on there. Oh, okay, we'll go back. Thanks for watching today. Um, it's not been a very like exciting day, but yeah, it's just been a bit of a relaxing one for us. Yeah, we'll see you tomorrow. Bye. Bye. Chotanga, tomorrow. Chotanga tomorrow.